Hey, subscribe to my channel. I love you. This video is sponsored by Card Market, Europe's largest online marketplace for trading card games. This video is sponsored by Sleeve Cheap. Their new Surgeon of Death collection is coming soon, which contains a Law border sleeve and a new Law deck box. Check out that sick ass art on the inside. Use code CARDKAIZOKU for an additional 5% off your order. This is the OP 8.5 Red Blue Marco deck I'm trying out. The games in this video is actually like the first time I'm playing this deck. I didn't really play them once 08 release. And yeah, this is actually the first time I'm touching the deck. First time I'm learning what he does. So gameplay is a little rough. I think he did get quite a big improvement from the new red starter deck, the white bird one. It's just that I'm probably not going to do a good job showing how strong the deck is. For now, I'm learning. So give me the time to put in the hours with this deck to learn it. So I, when I w when I finally do my official deck breakdown for this deck, expect better gameplay at that point. But for now, I just wanted to show off how the new white bear cards feel in, in the red blue Marco deck. Hope you can understand that and not blame me too hard. <laughs> And yeah, I'm running uh, no 9 cost Sanji, the blue one. I know you can run it to combo to like play into a, a Rayleigh or something. I'm not running 9 cost Wiper 2. Again, I'm just testing things out. This is not like a definitive best list. And this is on the bug testing sim too. So there, there's like a playmat bug I encounter. But yeah, don't expect like a high ranked high elo video this time around. It's more casual, you know, for the fun commentary. All right, did I cover my ass enough yet? Enjoy. Got Marco versus Doflamingo. We'll go second, I think. Actually, I don't know, but I guess we'll learn. We'll learn Marco on the fly. I, I didn't post an 08 Marco video on my channel yet, right? Did I? No, that's why I don't know how to play him. I was like, I probably played him before because I know what his deck does, but I think all I know about Marco is from what other people have done when they play against me. Right, I don't think I actually know how to pilot Marco. I guess we'll find out. So they play Prona and then rearrange. So we'll play Izo. Let's find a seven beard. Zone leader, just use our leader ability. We'll put, uh, let's put this on the bottom. They attack us for seven, out comes a Jinbei. We'll take this. Oh, he's playing out a second thing. Crocodile, reveal one card from the top of your deck if it's a 7 wall lurch type. Draw two cards and place one card on the back. Okay, cool, and we'll take that. New cards in action, very nice. Perona, set that up, very nice. Alright, down leader, well, leader ability. Ooh, Fire Fist can kill the board here. So we'll Fire Fist. Uh, we'll play Ace next turn, so let's put him on top. Get minus 2 to Jinbei. Should I waste it now? Uh, let's attack Jinbei for 6 first. He just dies. Okay. I guess we could kill Perona. Oh no, we should save it, huh? But then what do I do with 3? Peel off. We'll pass. That's what we'll do with 3. Hope they don't play like a pudding. That would be devastating. Okay, 7k at me again. That's something that they put on top. It's just a croc. That bounces Perona back to hand. Oh, my Izo. Okay. That gives me counter. Counter three. Five at me will counter one since I already countered. I have to commit. Commit to the bit. Sengoku. Uh, I mean, do I have to fire fist? I could just play ace. We'll leader ability. We'll put put something on the top. Seven beard for next turn. Minus two to this guy. Yeah, we'll just do six at him. He dies, and then we'll play ace. Six at the other croc. The counter two, we'll pass. I'm healthy enough anyway, and it's only one body on board. I don't have too much counter in hand though, that's a little scary. Okay, they do play the new boa. So blocker, look at the top three cards of your deck, rearrange. Give a rested on to leader. Okay, so you can attack me for seven. No, 8. Attack me for 8 and then use leader ability. Maybe hit a 6 with croc instead. 7-6. Seven, 7 I'll take and then I'll counter the 6. Oh, he does 8. Okay. 
what comes out here. And then now I'll fire fist now that he has a bunch. Oh, it's just a buggy. That's no big deal. No big deal at all. We'll take the eight. No trigger. Five at me. We'll counter for one. All right. So now I should fire fist or I could play Rayleigh. No, I want to save that for when I have extra Dawn. So Dawn leader. I mean, Newgate works too. Huh. We'll do six at Croc and see what happens. Oh, he died. Okay, yeah, so we'll do Whitebeard instead. Leader ability, we'll put uh, one of these sea quicks on the bottom. Minus two to Boa. Oh, I could have used Rested Dawn to put it on my leader earlier, huh? Yeah, we'll play Newgate, Rested Dawn on leader. We'll attack seven into Buggy? No, just do seven at them. Oh, they block. I guess I still use Whitebeard to kill uh, Perona. Yeah, I forgot she's a blocker. My bad. I'm learning a bunch of new cards here. I don't even know what my cards do, really. So cut me some slack. Jinbei into Weevil draws a card. Then Perona. Hmm. I do need another event to use Fire Fist though. If I want to use the second one, I can only use one right now. Should I just use a Fire Fist and then use a Sea Quake as well? Do I need to clear these bodies, the weenies? Because it will have like a lot of Dawn to spare later on. Even right now, he could do 7 liter. Oh no, he can't make anything else in Attacker. This is going to be 8 at me. I'm going to have to take this. I think I'm like managing my hand wrong. <laughs> okay, Boa comes out. Take the eight. We don't have a choice. All right. Um. So Dawn leader, leader effect. We'll put stuff on the bottom, but no counter. Like this Rayleigh. Minus two to Weevil. Then we'll fire fist. Discard second fire fist. Kill these two. And I can still see Quake. I play a blocker, that sounds better. Do 8 at Boa. 4 down for blocker, 2 down left over. So I'll do 7-7. Seven, seven. Sounds good, right? I could do another ace, maybe that's better. No, I think I need a blocker actually. So Don ace, 7. You take. Don leader, 7. You take. Play Marco and pass. Okay, the gravity blade in the end. We'll give minus 2k to ace to keep him alive. They can get us to zero. I have the counter to counter four. Let's just be healthy. Seven at ace. Okay, you can have ace. That just gets him a teach. And this doesn't help him right now. Yeah, these can't become 5k's with two rested dawn anyway. Okay, turn passes. Uh, if I play a second white beard, I can just clear the board. But I want to play a blocker. Yeah, yeah, blocker better. So Dawn Leader. Do 6 at Teach. And Leader Ability. I feel like I keep drawing Rayleigh's. I'll put them back on the bottom. Minus 2k. Play Ace. Attack for 6. Okay, take that. Do I have to worry about these small guys? I think I have enough counter to not worry about them. So we'll do 8 at lead. Okay, they took. We'll do Marco. Unless they get a trigger. Yeah, Marco definitely feels a lot stronger <laughs> with the new Whitebeard starter deck. I think it helps Marco more than it did the Whitebeard leader. This is literally my first time playing this deck too. So it goes to show you how strong these cards are. I'm doing pretty okay. Even though I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Okay, block a boa. But maybe same for him. He has a bunch of new four cost warlords to play. This is a casual video anyway. This is unranked. You know. Just showcasing new cards. And everyone's playing the new cards, so it's great. You can see it on both sides. I'm gonna do my own Doflamingo video later too. Okay, uh seven at us, maybe. I do have to worry about FEMA, right? The unblockable event. Okay, crocodile. His hand is huge. 
It really KOs a 3,000 power. If he doesn't have too many things on board, I'll try to do that. Okay, 7 at me will block. Bring him back with the uh, 7 cost Whitebeard. And passes. Okay. So I should Rayleigh here. I should Rayleigh, Rayleigh. So Rayleigh minus 3. And then minus 2. And kill Boa. And then Whitebeard kills. Wait, let's think about this. Oh wait, I rested him for no reason. Oh, it lets me just do that. It lets me just rest him. I guess that, that makes sense. <laughs> Embarrassing. I was supposed to use C-Quick too. I'm too flustered now. Oops, just misplaying all around. We'll kill Weevil at least. All right, I was supposed to do 6k at him and then C-Quick the croc. Dead counter anyway. Huh, they're really saving him as a 4k? We'll do Ace at him. And they save him. He's supposed to have one less body, but I'm stupid. I messed up. Gravity Blade will keep Ace alive. Does he have game on us? I don't think so. Maybe we just win anyway, even though I flubbed. Right, this minus 2k persists, so he has Weevil and then Doflamingo only. He's gonna go for my Ace instead. Six at me, we counter two. We'll keep this one as a rush option. Seven at ace. Oh, I can save him. Right. This is a 3k. Hey, he doesn't want to let me counter. And he left. Bye. Marco versus Katakuri will go second. My playmat didn't load. That That's a bug. I'm going to have to report that to Batsu through the proper channels after this game. Batsu, the playmat disappeared for some reason. Okay, we have nothing to do, so we'll just leader ability. Uh, let's put. I don't think we need Seaquakes in this matchup, so we'll pass. Huh, I wonder why it loaded the play map for them, but not for me. Kind of weird. But Batsu will fix it. No worries. He's like the only guy I shout out for free, because <laughs> this sim is amazing. Really admire him. I respect the guy, you know? Okay, 9 at me, we'll take it. Take it like we mean it out. We got a fetch. I I don't have anything to play. It's kind of awkward. Oh, let's, let's just leader ability first, and maybe we'll find something. Nope. <laughs> we don't find anything we can play. So we'll put uh, Marco on the bottom. Then I guess we just swing 9. He didn't play anything either, so we're just matching. Then we'll pass. Alright, 6 dawn turn, what do we do? Dawn leader, then ace. Okay, they play Katakuri. And 6 at me, we should counter this. 1, 2. For 3 total, 2 cards. That's just how I count, sorry. Uh, so, dawn leader. Then leader ability, let's put... I don't think I need Fire Fist. Minus two, so he can't block as easily. We'll do six at him. He blocks, and then... But yeah, it's not on my turn only, so this Ace should survive the Onami trigger. So six. He counters, because he knows that. <laughs> okay, he has to defend hits from me without taking the Nami. Seven at me. I can take one more, I think, at this point. He's not at seven, Mom. Ooh, six, Mom. What does she do? I can trash a life or trash two cards. That's devastating. We'll trash two cards. This and this. Oof. That hurt. Oh, but I can kill her with the uh, new gate on the clap back. That's pretty cool. I have like no cards in hand now. Yeah, I I don't think I take there, right? Because that would have been one trash and then seven. And then I would have like lost two life there. 7 at my ace will save him. Okay, I have a dawn to spare actually. So we'll get them to use their own Ami. No nothing to trigger out. Even if I play Newgate, nothing to trigger out. They took it. It just goes to hand. Oh, no, I'll just trigger to save ace. Okay, Newgate, dawn leader. Activate. 
Uh, I guess I don't need peel off right now. Put it on top. And then we'll get minus 2k to Linlin and then KO with Newgate. Pass. Whew. Cleared the board. Yeah, wh why did the Whitebeard starter deck help Marco out more than the uh, O2 Whitebeard deck? These cards fit so well with this deck. Compared to the uh, 6 life Whitebeard. I guess they couldn't let Marco be the leader for that starter deck. Okay, another Katakuri. I can always kill it with this new gate. Unless they do like 10 with Katakuri. I might even counter 3 to save him. Yeah, I like this new gate. At first I didn't like him, but he, he's like a red jack. The 08 jack. I guess I didn't like him in a Whitebeard deck, but he, he makes... Perfect sense in a Marco deck. He's broken in a Marco deck. Okay, 9k at Whitebeard. Only 9? Oh, that's going to be 10 because of leader ability. So yeah, like I said, we're going to save him. <laughs> Counter 3. Okay, Dawn leader. Leader ability. Um, Let's put Marco on top because I think we have room to peel off. Newgate. Rest and kill. Peel off. I think I play Ace. So we'll do 6 lead with Ace, they take, ooh, Pero Spero trigger, we'll do 6 lead with leader, then we'll do 7 with the uh, second Ace. If he gets another character trigger, maybe I change courses. Oh no, I still don't die, I have 3 life. Right, if he like 10 moms and attacks with a bunch of 5k's, I can defend that. He okay, countered 2, we'll play Ace. Dawn on him, attack for 7. They take, we'll pass. Okay, they play Luffy, popping Luffy. But I don't have a 4 cost, so they just do 10 at Ace, this kills him. He's not immune from being attacked into, unfortunately. Huh. He didn't want to spread that, spread that Dawn around to attack differently? Okay, he just concedes. Bye. We have Law versus Purple Luffy, we'll go second. Uh, let's mulligan. I'm probably not playing this deck correctly, but oh well. Play Izo out. Let's take... Take a 2k? Yeah, 2k. Leader. And then we'll cycle one. Let's put... Marco on the bottom. And we'll pass. Okay, they ramp to 4. Attack us for 5. We'll counter for... 1. Zoro Juro comes out, they get to search. Oh yeah, here's what he does. These are new cards, so you probably need to familiarize yourself with them as much as I do. Okay, they picked up a Luffy, Luffy Taro. Down leader, leader ability. Let's put... Let's put Whitebeard on top for next turn, maybe, or something. And then we'll... Back for six. Counter two, we'll just peel off here. Pass. Alright, he's gonna ramp to 7 and then play... Oh no, he's not. He's playing Magellan, so no Luffy Taro. Okay, 6k me, will counter 2. He ramps, he's gonna attack me for 7, we'll take... Get a Fire Fist trigger that can't KO either of these, unfortunately. Okay... We have a 4 Dawn play? Not really. I think I should still use my leader ability. Oh yeah, we have Blocker Marco. So leader ability. Let's put Whitebeard back on top. Minus two to him. Do six at Zoro. This should kill. A counter to save him. Maybe I do another six at him instead of playing Marco. Because I want him to die. While he's minus 2k buffed. Debuffed. Okay, he died. We'll pass. Okay, five at Izo, sure. Right, since he played Magellan, I couldn't do my my ace play. And then Fire Fist is probably useless in this matchup. I'll bottom deck it next chance I get. Okay, it's Luffy into Jinbei. 7k at me. We'll take one more. Okay, 7 cost white beard. I guess we go for it. Oh, he has a blocker though. I guess I kill it with the white beard. So we'll play white beard. Dawn leader. Leader effect. Let's put Fire Fist on the bottom. Minus 2 to Jinbei. We'll pop it with Newgate. Swing 6 at Magellan. I should probably swing 6 at Leader, actually. He lets it die. That's fine. 
Going back to 7 next turn. Cleared two bodies. Another Magellan. Uh oh. We minus two Dawn this time. Azoro two. Searches for them. Okay, so five, eight. I think I'll counter both. So five, we counter one. Eight, we counter four. All right. So Dawn leader. Let's get rid of freaking Fire Fist, but I don't want to see Quake either. Guess we killed the Zoro here. So Whitebeard kills Zoro. And then swing six at lead. We'll play Marco and leave Dawn up for Radical Beams. Counter two. Marco pass. Gotta get these sea quakes out of my hand too. Oh no, Kaido kills my blocker. We'll use it to revive our Marco. Let's see, how many times can I defend him? Uh, we'll counter one with our ace. Magellan will counter two. Then 10 at my new gate. Well, Radical Beam. Nine at my new gate. I'm out of counter, no! Ooh, Rayleigh. Does Rayleigh help me? Not really. But I think we have to play him. So Rayleigh out. Minus 3 to Taro. And then 2 to Magellan. And I can't KO anything. Swing 5 at Taro. Counters. We'll pass. Yeah, at least he stays a 5k and he's a 4k. If he ramped. Usohachi taps my blocker. Am I dead here? Five at me, we have to take. At least I got a counter, but yeah, he has enough to kill me. Seven at me, we take. Ten at me, we die. I think Marco sucks. Or maybe I just suck. One more? Okay, so we get a rematch. We'll go second again. Keep this. Okay, Izo into Whitebeard. Dawn leader, cycle. Let's put this on the bottom. We'll pass. Five at us, we will counter. Counter two. They ramp to four. Zoro Juro. I don't have to worry about the blocker law, huh? Because they don't run it anymore. So maybe I should stop countering the first hit. Just old muscle memory, I guess. Okay. So it's a peel off turn, it looks like. Bottom deck to Fire Fist. Minus two. Swing six. Counter two will peel off, pass. Okay, we're not like event flooded this time, so maybe we'll do a little better. Six will counter two, and we'll take the leader hit. Okay, six will take that one. Ooh, two Rayleigh's. Sangoro. Can I kill him? No. I would like to, but I cannot. So down leader, leader ability, we'll put, put Rayleigh back on top. Minus two to Zoro. Swing six at him. He died. I guess we play ace. Yeah, ace. Six at lead. The counter two will pass. He gets to draw. Dang it. And then Luffy Taro, maybe? Ramps to nine. Okay, Kaido's coming out. Five at us. We'll counter that for one. Six at us. He draws. We'll counter two. Oh, it's Lin Lin, not Kaido gonna put our rusher back in life we're fine with that oh i can use his ability to to withstand the linlin's effect nice was not expecting that okay we'll play whitebeard dawn leader leader effect um let's put ace back on top minus two to song goro we can just attack into him i don't think we need to use whitebeard i oh, might as well so kill song goro with whitebeard Six at lead. Counter two. Seven at lead. Take. We'll pass. Should I have left Don up for Radical Beam? Nah, he's going to attack my characters. Okay, there's Kaido. Maybe my ace. Yeah, we'll keep him alive. And then he attacks into him. So he takes two hits here. That's fine. Ten of my white beard. Should I save him? Nah, because he just kills with Lin Lin after. Lin Lin hits me for nine. I'll take it. Another ace. Okay. Does this ace help me kill both of these? Potentially. Let's try it out. So play ace, minus three, minus three. Down leader. Another minus two. On who? 
So 6k, 7k, make you a 5. 7 into 5. He died. Okay, how about 7 into 6? They can counter this. Yeah, maybe I should have just done 8 and then not leave Dawn up for Radical Beam. Right, because if Lin-Lin dies, he can't really kill Ace as easily. Okay, 5 at me, we'll counter. 2. I should use the Ace, actually. I forgot he has counter. 9 at my Ace. Red Beam. Then Luffy Taro. Okay, my Ace lives. Sangoro out. So I can kill Sangoro. Oh, he KOs a 3k. I thought he KOs a 0k power. So I've been using him wrong this whole time. Alright, so we'll do... Yeah, I don't want him to draw. I'm okay with Luffy Taro living. So Rayleigh, minus 3, and then minus 2 to Lin. Lin Lin. Then kill Sangoro. On leader. Leader effect. Let's put Rayleigh on top to draw again next turn. Another minus 2. So she's a 5k right now with those 7 at her. They die. Uh, 7 at lead? We take, we'll pass. I've been playing <laughs> Rayleigh wrong this whole time. This is my first deck that I use him in. So yeah, there's a learning curve. But now I learned. He got to play Sanji for 3 because he has less Dawn because of the Kaido he played earlier. So 9 at Ace. He can do it again. I think we're fine with them doing it again. So let them attack 9k, 9K again into Ace. Yep, that's fine. That saved me 2 life. Okay, so I can I kill Luffy Taro? I can kill Sang Sanji, so Dawn Leader. Yeah, 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 we'll play another Rayleigh. Minus three, minus two, kill Sanji. Leader ability, let's put... Peel off would be nice next turn. Yeah, he's a 4k. Do six at him. He died. Do nine at lead. They take, yeah, it just took me a couple games to learn this deck. Maybe it doesn't suck. I just had to learn how to play it. But you guys get to see me learn how to play it in real time. Learn with me in case you don't know how to play him already. But pretty sure you guys all know how to play him and I'm just <laughs> making a fool of myself. But progressively making less of a fool as I'm learning this deck. And then I'll make the deck break down where it seems like I know what I'm doing. But yeah, this is all the testing I have to do like prior beforehand until I make those videos. So now you guys know what I go through. 11 at my Rayleigh. He's dead. Okay, does peel off help me here? No, I just go for game, maybe? Do 9 at lead, see what happens. Well, at least burn a lot of counter, and I don't think he can finish me anyway. Okay, there's three cards. We'll peel off here. Okay, got nothing I can play, so we'll peel off here. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> Well, leader ability. Let's bottom deck a fire fist. So I can give him minus four. And then attack for six. That doesn't sound good. Just do eight at leader. They take, we'll pass. So you can't wrap into a second Kaido. He could block her up. In which case, I should have kept my fire fist. Oops, I didn't think that far ahead. It's okay, we'll kill it with the white beard. Unless they play two blockers. No, they can't do that with seven Dawn. Yeah, I think there's no way they, they can win this at this point. Six at me. We just counter two for fun. And then 12 at my Rayleigh, sure. And then a blocker. Nami, yep. Oh, since they don't have eight Dawn, they don't get the draw. We'll play Whitebeard, Dawn Leader. And we'll just pop it with Leader. And we'll attack them for 9. Yep, we got it. Cardi Kaizoku.